Ruffalo Rip Ride Adventure. There is Al. He is one of the effects that currently are working. We're about to hit the next effect. It's Snake. Snake's not moving either. I'm not going to get decent photos because I, I can't. It's impossible to get a, get a clip as well as get, get a video of it. But I'm looking at Snake right now. He's not moving. So there are a couple of effects that aren't working here in the Ruffalo River Ride adventure. Welcome to the Fountain Finale. One thing that is sort of working and sort of not right now are the pivotal fountains. Uh, some of them are shooting too short, some of them are shooting too long, some of them aren't really shooting at all. Uh, that's not new, that's been going on since the days of bubble work. So hopefully over the close season we'll see them all fixed. Uh, I, I, I don't think we're going to see any of these effects fixed before Halloween though, which is a shame. And finally we're in the right. This effect now work after quite a few months of not working. And outside the ride itself, the decorative footprints that once adorned the main queue entrance there, or footprints, paw prints, paw prints, have all gone. So welcome to Vampire Woods of Wild Woods of Transylvania. Just listen. So Vampire has seen quite a few changes over the summer, and one of those will be the queue line TVs that now cover the queue line. They're showing both external and internal adverts. Inside the in indoor queue line, all the torches have been replaced with faux gas lamps. And also, it now contains one of the signs saying to not abuse staff, which is a shame. The station has new numbers on the floor in front of each row, and also next to the train, so you can't get confused as to where you go. And finally, the big thing, as uh, the train flies ahead. original vampire entrance is being utilised again for fast trackers because the main the the old entrance down there is closed and there's scaffolding in the queue line. So the Black Buccaneers had a few changes. The baggage uh, cage which is there was there and they changed this bit here into the permanent exit with ambulance disabled just down here. 1, 2 and 3 access from there, 4, 5 and 6, and then 7, 8 and 9. And then... <laughs> and obviously the original exit is now utilised for non-ambulant disabled, with the middle row just over there not containing uh, one of the doors for the exit on that side. <laughs> so here in Laurie Lagoon, the Dune, the bird housing area has received new decoration rather than the plain black panels that used to sit there before. So Cobra was another ride to receive the Q-Line TV and sign about staff abuse treatment. The sign up on the control cabin at the start, well, end of the queue, start of batching area, and the TVs are sort of on their way up towards where the batching area is before the stairs. So Dragon's Fury got a big Q-Line TV, but no small ones, and has not received the sign about staff abuse as of yet. I found Dragon's Fury sign about not abusing staff. It's just here before you head up the stairs into the station. So, this sign wasn't always here. It was just this one. It used to be over here, but as you can see, that fence used to prevent access to it because of the, the way you used to leave Mystic East and come to Forbidden King. Obviously, now with the new path there, that fence is there to prevent access to ride and enclosure areas. So, they moved the sign here. I'm standing outside Tomb Blaster for a couple of things I've just noticed on a, on a run through today actually. Uh, the mummies in the final section, they are now making noises again. And the second one is something I literally just noticed myself. Old fast track entrance there, you can see the remnants of the sign. I can't do reverse pointing. Well, they've, they've not moved it very far actually. They've literally moved it just around the corner to here but it still takes you in in the same location. The Fast Track queue just here has seen a lot of changes it, for Scorpion Express. Where, well, the queue is very malleable, it always has been. However, over the summer, they installed this gate here, because the main queue used to walk down here, they've installed a permanent fence over there. So I think they're utilizing that for the Fast Track queue again, rather than merging us down here at the point 
of entering the little building. I'm not sure what the purpose of doing that is because frankly, I think it's, it's it definitely it always throws an operation, but they then also have to pick a row and say which row are you going to go on. And the most likely contenders will be the back and the front, which isn't really fair on the people who use the main queue. But yeah, so it's as simple as that. They've changed where the fast track, fast track queue merges. In this case, it doesn't merge, it goes straight onto the exit platform of Scorpion Express. Rattlesnake has seen the Q-Line TV treatment as well as uh, the signs. The old Q-Line TVs are still in place and not operational, but the new ones are dotted around the Q-Line in different locations. So if you look very carefully just up here, we, there, 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 we have an animatronic who has not moved in many, many years. As you can see, he is climbing down the road this time, he's just climbed up too. So over here in Mexicana, the VIP hub now has an actual sign advertising that's where you go for your VIP experiences. I know it's sunny, but these water walkers used to be in Mystic East and the wipeout has been moved down the bottom behind it. This is obviously the old area for the carousel and it has well and truly been subsumed by these pay-per-play games behind the Adventure Point gift shop. So it's been about two years since the old Africa shop was closed and converted into the photo collections pick solve unit. However, it's only recently, this season, 2018, that we've got this sign up here, actually advertise it, because when I've been sent to here, I ended up going in the coffee shop just over there. They're well and truly ready for Halloween. Signature decoration of the little Jeep car that sits here opposite tire truckers is all done with the board advertising for Halloween. Halloween may be next, but Chessington are preparing for Christmas. The monkeys are unwrapping a gift, ready to advertise Winter's Tale. 